Yeah, it was a, it was a very close one today. Uh, the players couldn't seem to get on with the wet conditions and that. But uh, it was really good. The, the team sort of just folded out right to the end. It was a good hard win by Essendon, I thought. Well, Essendon had seven players in the night game on Tuesday, the interstate match. Was that evident out there that they were tired? Oh, I'm sure they're a little bit leg weary, of course. It's uh, a bit hard to keep coming up and up. But uh, I'm glad we don't have to try in the morning. That's the main thing. Well, you've played five games in two weeks. How did you feel? It was felt in the, from the commentary position that you were tired today. Yeah, I was a little bit tired. It uh, took a bit to get going, actually. Uh, get the legs going in the first half. But a little bit later in the second half, I sort of got in the movementers. And uh, I sort of felt a little bit better in the end, especially when we won, of course. What was the most pleasing aspect of uh, Essendon's win today? I thought the thing was that we fought it out. It was a really good hard win. Uh, Geelong are a good side. Uh, we fought it right out to the end to win. You know, it wasn't my match, but we, at least we won a good hard game. Roger. Five and a half minute mark of the first quarter. And their commentators at Cadinia Park are Sandy Roberts and Bob Skilton. As the mark is taken on centre wing by Peter Zeichmer. And he will put the Cats into attack once again. Down towards half forward. Watson almost infringed. Greg Williams waits down. Puts the handball out in front towards the half forward line. The umpire keen to let play go on. Donnell could have got one too high. But then again, did the umpire pick up the second one instead of the first? Bob, what are your thoughts? Thanks, Bob. And, uh, you see the ball running over the boundary line. I think Jacko was quite relieved when he saw the umpire just say, it's your free kick and nothing more. Thought you thought he'd get out the book. Wouldn't have been a bit surprised, Sandy. He's runs now. Tackle. Gets a hand pass in. Williams taps it on. Over the top it comes and we find Views now. A nice hand pass from Views. Just too wide for Neil. Neil taps it out. Picked up again by Buse, up towards the forward pocket, too wide though, and runs over the boundary line, so a throw-in to take place. And uh, Walsh trying to put it over the umpire, saying it was out on the full. But nothing coming from that one. Nothing but a boundary throw-in, that is, as we see Jackson against Madden. Jackson gets his body in the front, but Madden gets it down. Elshaw, a dangerous hand pass. Oh, goal. Chance of a goal. And I think you might find Tony Elshaw coming off. So first blood to the home side, the Cats. Stephen Reynoldson take, saying thank, thank you very, very much. much. <laughs> Indeed he may too, and it'll be interesting to see what the Essendon runner has to say out on the ground at the moment. But the score line says it all. Geelong, 1-1-7, leading Essendon one behind. As we go back for the centre bounce once again, it will be Flanagan, who's been given the bulk of the work with the injury to Mossop. Out of the middle, can't get an effective tap. Madden goes down also, but he appears to be OK. Foles tries to tap it back. Watson is held whilst not in possession. The umpires are really letting it fly. Wait. The Yates goes through, couldn't take it. Then Tui. Now Hawker. Oh, Hawker gave it to Watson. Watson comes out wide to Shane Hurd. Hurd will give it to Vander, who wobbles one. A worm burner, really. Straight to Bolton. Bolton goes in towards the centre and the mark is taken by the former Richmond boy in Shane Williams. So Williams to put the Tigers into attack. Across to Flanagan. Takes time to get mobile but now he does. Could just about goal. Deep in towards full forward he goes. Walsh taps it over the back and Jackson can't get there in time so one behind is the result. So one two on the board to the Cats. Leading the Bombers one behind. Weston will be the player to put it back into play as Jackson out Weston now puts it wide Walsh Did you pay that Robert wind condition Bob any any end favoring either side I do not believe so Sandy I think very still conditions I think the one thing that people would be hoping for here that the in still conditions do not see rain Williams after taking the ball and Zeichler puts it out to Tui Tui look for the short pass, but a poorly directed kick or is directed in the right manner. Morgan gathers the ball well, swings it across, maybe too high. No, Hughes just couldn't quite take the mark. Snaps it down towards the goal square. Jackson from behind. Up goes Weston. It comes over the back of the pack. Folds first there, taps it out wide. Couch can't go in possession. He and Carey wrestling for the ball. The umpire decides that there'll be a bounce to take place about 25 metres out from the Geelong goal. Incidentally, Bob, umpires Tony Bryant and David Howard officiating today, and we haven't seen uh, David before. Jackson, it's tapped beautifully to him, and he pops it through. What a wonderful tap by Steve Reynolds. And Jacko, the individual, is delightful. Yes, it makes you wonder.
wonder whether Jacko, who has a posterior cruciate ligament damage, uh, Sandy, is doing any further damage by playing. And uh, most of the medical advice seems to be that when you've got those problems, you should have an operation. And uh, Jacko, well, on that occasion, you wouldn't have known he was even injured. Well, I think his big concern is that if he did give it away, he's desperately keen to do well in goal kicking this season. It's umpire Howard, Sandy, not Howard. Well, I knew we hadn't seen David Howard, and that probably answers the question. Bob, thank you. We were given the wrong mail in the first place, Sandy. I won't <laughs> mention by who. No, Kevin O'Neill's OK, though. <laughs> From the middle, and a couch gets it across to Williams. Williams handball. No, it finds its mark in Buse. Buse goes up towards the half-forward line. However, picked up by Walsh, who goes hurriedly with a kick back towards the centre. Tui is the spoiler from behind. Waiting down is Merritt. Buse is there also. Elshaw coming in now, puts body over the ball. Hurd lends assistance, looks for the player going past, finds him too, and once again, the Bombers, through Hurd, uh, through Folds, come out of trouble, up towards Hawker. Hawker's high kick. Now Harvey will get underneath this and take it on the chest. What's he got to kick up, up forward? Only uh, Darren Williams. The bounce is a bad one. Hocking picks it up. He goes out wide and finds Scratcher. Thought about going on. Brian Wood will have... Surely it should be 15 metres. He's really gone over the mark. But the umpire says no play on. Williams and Harvey. The latter coming over the top to Watson. Watson steadies. He likes these just about from the centre. In towards half forward. The mark not taken by Malarkey. Williams sees it over the line. And a throw in to take place in Essendon's left forward pocket. But that's the furthest they've been into attack since that one behind early on. Good defensive work by Gary Malarkey there. Knowing that Williams might take it away. Dumped it towards the boundary. And now we see the result and throw in. Flanagan from behind. Taps it down. It's taken by Baker. A chance of a goal. An easy goal coming up. Baker makes no mistake. Essendon's first goal as they go to 1-1. Seven points. Seven points down against Geelong on 2-2-14. Leon Baker scoring his first. Other goal scorers for the day so far, Steve Reynoldson and Mark Jackson for the Cats. Seven-point break, as Bobby Skilton has said, on Seven's Big League on this overcast Saturday afternoon here at Kittinier Park. Pretty good crowd, too, with many coming down from Windy Hill. The red and black quite prominent around the ground. Here's the centre bounce once again. Madden father of Joshua, born this week and highly delighted. Folds. Not a father this week but highly delighted to be having a kick down towards the half forward line. Opportunity for Danaher to give the handball to Hawker as good football he snaps in towards goal. Thank you he says to Terence Danaher. There's the equaliser as far as goals are concerned. They've got two apiece but Geelong lead by a point. 2-2 two -two to 2-1. Two That's good play by Essendon there. They're very quick to come back with a couple of very smart goals and a very adaptable side the Essendon side you've got Tom, uh, Thompson selected as a rover playing in the back pocket and he could play as a rover if need be Hawker who's had a great year on the half back flank playing half forward and kicking that goal Harvey an extremely good half forward has lined up on the wing centre bounce Madden gets a tap Merritt comes through taps it wide Wood and Williams. Williams wins out. Good play by Williams. Got the hand pass in to put his teammate views under pressure. Got it to Boss. Out to Shane Williams. Wobbly old kick forward. Tapped on by Jackson. Ablett. Bundled out of the way. Kicked off the ground. Goes towards the goal square. Offline though and we find Dunnell coming away for Essendon. Beautiful. Goes for the short pass. It's Bolton and Harvey both hanging on to each other. Williams comes in. Greg Williams that is. Puts the long kick down. Jackson in position. Couldn't quite take the mark. Once again, it's Thompson now. Goes short. Couch is there. Couldn't take the mark. Carey. Williams again. Held. We're not in possession. And we'll take the free kick. 15 metre penalty being paid. Brings Williams within kicking distance, I would believe, from there. A fairly acute angle, about a 45 degree angle. But uh, Greg Williams, pretty consistent kick. Every chance of bringing up a goal. So Williams once again doing extremely well for his side the kick from Williams no mistake about that right through the centre and one goal to Greg Williams mark of the first term here at Virginia Park Flanagan up against Father Madden Flanagan plucks it out of the air 
goes with the tunnel ball handball intercepted by Harvey however he's in the spot of bother Weston tries to tap it forward couldn't do so Williams was tackled too high although he ducked his head the umpire has said no Shane you can be the receiver of this free kick now he should go long Jacko leads into the pocket but he goes shorter than that it's a prolific kick winner this young boy Andrew Buse as well now comes the lead from Bruns unable to complete the mark Flanagan pounces upon the pack it's scooped out the back door beautifully done by Folds up to uh, in fact uh, Donnell it was up towards the centre and taken by Baker Leon Baker looking for four towards half four Vander Hawker they're all there waiting down Hawker bumps towards the boundary line but the umpire says no Glenn Hawker you push Peter Zeitler and it will be the latter to be the recipient for Essendon Kink and Watson the interchange bench Reynoldson caught behind and it will be Madden at the back who takes the mark. Simon across to Folds giving it to Elshaw kick partly smothered Buse nips in tries to get the handball across to Flanagan going past Elshaw again shovels it out the back door taken by Buse sockers it off the ground intelligently so to Couch Couch towards Williams and he takes the mark between centre and half four looks to play on swing round onto the left foot long to in towards Ablett takes the mark in the left forward pocket and the Cats an excellent opportunity of scooting away again at the moment the lead is seven points a well placed kick that time and a good play by Andrew Buse first to smuggle it and then put it off the ground as Gary Ablett goes towards goal he's offline and it's just as well this year that a lot of his kicking has been offline Sandy because he's had a couple of days with six eight six, down eight. at St Kilda and, uh, and there's Gary Ablett 21 to 13, eight points to the margin. And it's Shane Hurd comes straight up the centre of the ground. No doubt a mark or free kick, whatever you like. And it's Brian Wood who will take it across the half back line for Essen. So Wood to go in towards the pivot for the Bombers. Merritt is the target. The big fella just taps it over the back for his running plays. He's got uh, Baker and Watson both there. They combine. It'll be Watson's strength that gets them out of trouble. A beautiful handball in towards the pocket. There's an excellent chance to go in towards full forward. Danaher is there and he takes the mark. Kick coming from Leon Baker, who, like Watson, followed the play down. Terry Danaher. Instrumental in their first goal and in their third. So back come the Bombers. 3-1, playing Geelong's 3-3 on sevens. Big lead. Starting game down at Geelong. Let's go back to the match now at Cadinia Park and we pick up the play at the start of the final term. There's only one point the difference. Well, they're really cool this month. They're really cool. Into the last quarter here at Cadinia Park and it's the visitors Essendon leading by one point. 8-9 plays 8-8 in very dark wintry conditions. It doesn't stop Watson getting the first kick of the final term. Down towards Baker who's been hardly sighted. In towards the pocket. Merritt unable to take the mark. The pack develops. No one able to pick it up effectively. Tui sees it out wide. Eventually picked up and kicked by Malaki towards the centre of the ground. Flanagan was there, but he's beaten for it by Watson. He sets sail for home with a long left footer down towards the half forward line. No one able to mark. Baker picks it up. Snaps towards goal. It goes across the face of goal. Geelong are able to keep it in play. And it will be Mark Yates who brings it towards Greg Williams to take a good mark. He plays on straight away to Lenahan. Had plenty of touches in the third term. A couple he didn't do a lot with, however. Carey marks well at centre wing. Steve Carey. Quickly on to Shane Hurd. A worm burner to Darren Williams. Weston handled it like a hot potato. Darren Williams, they're frittering about with it at the moment. Scratcher Neal comes in and takes the mark. Leave it with the Reds, as he, Redheads, he says. He gives it to Neville Bruns. And there's a courageous mark taken by Couch on the left half forward flank. So Couch now, half forward flank. Jackson the target. Jackson got rid of Van der Haar. Lending support to Van der Haar is Paul Weston. And Weston forces it through for one point to Geelong. So it scores 11. Four. It's 8 9 apiece. 57 points each. Madden. But easy have been given the free kick as we find Reynoldson gets it across to Shane Williams. A high floating kick. Oh, lovely mark for Vanderhaar. 
beautiful mark. So Paul van der Haar on the last line of defence to bring the Bombers out of strife. Tumbling a punt to the half-back flank. Waterson the target, and he spills it, I fear, as he went over the line. So the umpire saying a throw-in. Still in the attacking zone of Geelong's. They've levelled the scores. Simon Madden wins it. Waterson tackled too high. The umpire calls play on. Tapped forward down towards centre wing. Still paddled forward. Eventually picked up and pushed back towards the half forward line of Geelong. Danaher caught. Looking for Hawker. Bolton the tackler and a good tackle too. Oh, another good one by Hocking. Still the umpire says play on. Bob Skilton shakes his head and wonders just what you must do. And the ball goes over the line for throw. Is that what you're thinking, Robert? No worries, Andy. Here's the throw in. Flanagan and Danaher. Bruns tries to get it away. The pack develops again. Danaher goes in over the top. And again, another bounce. By gee, it's got dark out here at Cadinia Park. Very overcast, but no rain at the moment. Had intermittent showers throughout the afternoon. Lenahan tried to surge it forward. Heard was there also. We're just about stopped for lunch though on that outer side at the moment because not a thing is happening. Throw in again. Boss comes over the top and says, Danya, we'll move this even if it's only 20 metres down towards the wing position. And that's exactly what he does. Only three minutes played in this final term. Throw in again. Flanagan and Madden. Hawker looking towards Elshaw. Oh, and he's picked out another one. Well, that's penalising the side in my opinion. It was in general play. They were, you really could have allowed the advantage rule to go on then. Hawking. Over the top came Flanagan, waiting down his Bruns. A hurried kick in towards the centre. Reynoldson! Spoiled by Carey, the umpire calls play on. Pushed back in towards the middle once again. Williams and Watson. Williams, this is Greg, first to it. Tapped cleverly over the back by Ablett. His target was Shane Williams, who has it now, but he's under pressure from Wood. So Scratcher Neal nips in. Back towards Ablett. Weston foils that. Wood again. Intercepts. Steadies. Draws the player to allow Watson free. And away he scoots from Shane Williams. Puts it in towards the pocket. Merritt comes to meet it. He'll be lucky to keep it in, but he is lucky. Does it well. And it it goes straight to Hocking. Hocking back towards Malarkey. Looked for the free kick for a push as he propped over the football. And eventually it's taken over the line by Hawker. Dovey's gone. Ping for holding the ball. So it will be Malarkey to take the kick right alongside the boundary line. Half back flank for Geelong. Comes across the ground. A little dangerous from there. Yates misses it. And there's the result. Picked up by Waterson. He goes towards goal. Marked down there by Elshaw. And do you wonder whether experienced players will ever learn? Elshaw, five metres out from goal. Scores level prior to the kick. And after the kick, it's six points in favour of Essendon. Tony Elshaw puts his second goal. And the Bombers to a six-point break. 9-9 nine, nine plays 8-9 on Seven's big lead. 63. Madden and Flanagan have been at it for the bulk of the day. It's a bounce that favours, believe it or not, Darren Williams. Terry Danaher looking to get it back to Williams. Lenahan trying to intercept for the Cats. Yates gets a short kick. They bottle it up again between centre and half forward for Essendon and another bounce to take place. Flanagan, perhaps up a fraction too early. Taken by Williams, a high kick. Oh, the bounce, Malaki chanced his arm. Through came Harvey. Now Merritt steadies, gets pushed as he took the kick. It put him off target, and he drifts it in towards the pocket, only to see Hocking take the mark on the last line of defence. So Hocking, looking for Yates. Waiting down as Williams, Terry Danaher is there as well. Picked up by Shane Williams, and a la John Beckwith, straight to the boundary line. 
for the throw in on. That's the half back line for Geelong. Flanagan against Merritt. Flanagan in the front position. Merritt manoeuvres and gets a slight tap over the tap, but at the back. Williams. Well placed kick from Williams. Finds Waterson, who's done quite well in the last few minutes. Madden receiving attention behind the play. Robert, I'll keep an eye on him. Waterson goes for the short pass. Merritt just sneaking down the ground. Planning and going down. Expecting a long kick. We'll get one now, but whether or not it will drop short enough for Flanagan to be able to touch, could be something else. Roger Merritt. He's yet to put a goal on the board. Virtually directly in front. 40 metres out. The kick from Merritt, he's hooked it. And it's through for one point. No, it may not have made the line. No, I don't think it has, Bob. No. Big Flanagan was there right on the last line. And with the aid of five metres, the player must come back there. Short pass from Flanagan, not reaching his teammate. Hocking's there. The hand pass back to Flanagan. They get out of trouble momentarily as Neil's short kick comes forward. Chewy was there. Waterson, well tackled. Umpire saying he had no chance of getting rid of the ball and that there'll be a bounce to take place. And bounce midway between half forward flank and forward pocket for Essendon with Essendon holding a one-goal lead. Flanagan, the big fist. Greg Williams, the hand pass. He finds Bruns. Bruns kick smothered. Taken by Folds, it puts a high floating kick in the air. Shane Williams came out, couldn't take it. Baker's there for Essendon. Got the hand pass in. It's accepted by Wood, who breaks the tackle. Plenty of time and eventually it's smothered, comes back to him again. Watson caught one too high and a bounce will take place. Run by Tony Bryant will put it down across the half forward line for Essendon. See the half forward, the position. Big pack of players there. Simon Madden gets it over the back. Hocking takes it. The hand pass out to Lenahan. Lenahan's kicking towards the centre of the ground. Gary Ablett got an awkward bounce. Foles got to, gets a push in the back and will take the free kick. So Gary Fold between half back and centre to put the bombers out of trouble and push them back into attack again. Madden, who's quite okay now, the target taken by Scratch and Neil, but he's got no support at all. However, the free kick has been sounded and it will go back to Scratch and Neil at centre wing. And listen to the ironical cheers of the Geelong fans. They're saying, What's happened on Scratcher? That's a shocking kick. Look at the pace of Simon Madden. He gets caught. Thompson through. Sneaks away from Williams. Gets his kick down towards the centre of the ground. Watson steals it. Goes long in towards full forward. Merritt the flyer and he takes a good mark. It's the value of a little bit of height, Sandy. We've, yep. we've seen Simon Madden down there take a few. And the Merritt on that occasion, there wasn't a great deal that Gary Malarkey could do. And that Malarkey likes to be able to use his body, but there was no chance of Malarkey trying to get that one away. Roger Merritt almost directly in front. Well, we saw him shoot from here only minutes ago and he pulled it. Let's see what he does on this occasion. Same I think he's off. done exactly the same thing, but with a little more distance and Flanagan unable to mark it this time. So, the Bombers now lead by seven points. Mark Yates. Bring the ball back into play. To the outer side of the ground he goes. Flanagan caught behind. Reynoldson tried to tap it over the back, but the only person there is Watson. Workmanlike, he pushes it back towards Paul Ford, only to see Mark Yates again take a very good mark under great pressure. Goes short to Morgan. Plays on with the left foot kick in towards the centre. Ablett will be the flyer. Can't complete the mark. Plenty of Essendon players waiting down. Plenty of heavy bumps too as it's pushed again up towards Yates. He spoils from behind. Waiting there is Hocking. Picks it up now. Has to go across the face of goal. Dangerously so. Bolton is there. Does it well. Good shepherding. Sees him clear. Gets the handball across to Shane Williams. He looks up towards the centre. There is Reynoldson. Uses the body. The only one there is Scratcher Neal. Sensibly soccers it off the ground. Out comes Vanderhaar. Chancing his arm. Gets caught Vanderhaar. 
intercepting at his couch. He can go from here. Puts it onto the left foot, but is off target. And one behind only in an opportunity going begging for the Cats. They would have loved to have seen going through. And so it's a one goal, the margin. And Gary Ablett hobbling around behind play. Shane Hurd, getting ready to bring the ball back into play. Plays on from fullback. Now hooks it back. Flanagan, almost a mark to Reynoldson. Shane Williams at the back, leaves it for Boss. The hand pass across. Hand pass from Couch, back to Boss. Long kick. Jackson, Vanderhaar at the back of the pack. Bruns is there. Got the hand pass in. Ablett kicked off the ground by Al Shaw. It goes over the boundary line. So a throw in will take place in the forward pocket for Geelong. Can Geelong take advantage of this forward thrust from the forward pocket? Reynoldson got into the back of his opponent. A foolish piece of play. And Madden will take the free kick. Hand pass to Foles. Likewise to Elshaw. Another hand pass comes out to Hawker. Plenty of time. The pressure off the Bombers at the moment. Hawker's kick well taken by Bernard Tui. So Tui at half back to put the Cats out of strife. But they haven't been able to capitalise when they've got it up forward. Flanagan now on the outer side of the ground. Looks to go long. It's a good kick too. Reynoldson and Folds. Reynoldson can he recover quickly enough? He does. Pushes it down in towards the pocket. Van der Haar playing in front of Jackson. No one able to pick it up. Van der Haar goes in over the top once again. And the umpire comes in and decides upon a bounce. Jackson there. Bruns also and couch for the Cats. Ball up in front of the small scoreboard. We're approaching the 15-minute mark of this final term. One straight kick the difference. Can the Cats get back into this game? Ablett soccer's off the ground. It bounces towards goal. Only to see it drip through for one ball. Five points now the mate. 59 plays 64 on Seven's big lead. Van der Haar at full back. What's he got to kick to? He can go short to Weston. Finds that player in the back pocket. Swings away from Morgan towards Watson. In towards the centre. Watson balks, then kicks out wide. Zigzagging across the ground at the moment. Thompson has taken the mark. Looked as though he was off initially. Now sets sail with a handball to Watson, who's made good ground. Up towards half forward. And a great mark taken by Darren Williams. He plays on straight away. Goes long. Up towards full forward. Merritt tries to get rid of Malarkey. And does so with a great mark. Oh, strength of Roger Merritt. An excellent mark, that one, Sandy. So, Roger Merritt, an opportunity now of making the margin 11 points. His kicking for goal in this term has not been what he would like. But he's very close on this occasion and should not be so. Here's the drop punt from Roger. Fires away. Oh, Dodger. <laughs> he's put the moz on me again. It's the third time in this term. Another point. Oh dear. One straight kick the difference. So, still it goes on. Hawker will wait at the back here, but there's no need. A very good mark taken by Tim Watson on half forward. Now, when Tim gets onto a ball, he could just about boot this. Donnell draws out boss. Watson decides to go long with a drop punt. Will go in towards the square. Merritt is there, waiting down his scratch and kneel. Read the crumbs beautifully. He was the only rover playing in front of the pack. Ablett looked to be on one leg moments ago. Shrugs the tackle. Tries to get away. Has very little support. Now Buse comes in, but it's oh so late. And Danaher will clear. Across to Weston. He'll fire at goal. It's swinging back. And he hits the post. Seven points the margin now, favouring the Bombers. 9-12 plays 8-11 on Seven's big lead. So we find Gary Malarkey coming straight up the centre of the ground. Could easily have been a free kick to Williams, but the umpire might have missed that as Watson gives a nice hand pass to Elshaw. Elshaw's long kick down towards the forward oh. area. Oh, and that's a lovely mark to Simon Madden. Madden. Seven marks, Bob. Diving through. 
and uh, desperation mark. It's when players really respond to the occasion. And so we this saw Simon Madden on that occasion. This one could be for young Joshua Robert, born this week to the Madden family. Let's see what he does. I don't think Joshua would be part of his father. One point. So Simon Madden's contribution is two behinds in this game so far. And the Bombers now lead by eight points. But in these conditions and considering the scoring we've had today, it's a fair break at the moment. Although we've still got plenty of time left. Shane Williams got up high. Two Eskimo players waiting at the back. Watson was the one who picked it. Went away from Brian Wood. Kicks down towards the half forward line where the mark is taken by Shane Hurd. I'm a little surprised that Geelong haven't attempted to do something about the play of Watson in this quarter, Sandy. He's absolutely dominated right. the game. Has run right. You're quite right, Robert. Flanagan across to Neil. He's started to really run in this quarter, but uh, he's lacked a lot of support. Couch. Too slow to get his kick away. Back towards Buse. Can't pick it up cleanly. Essendon looking to run it in a line down towards their forward line. Williams and Flanagan try to stop it. Back to Buse again. His handball is smothered. Pushed out now. Elshaw, the opportunist, sets up the handball to Merritt. Merritt will just about have a shot. No, he gets caught. And holding the ball. No argument from the Dodger. The big fella had the chance. Two east to Bolton. half back it's almost dark here at Cadinia Park as we approach the 19 minute mark the Bombers looking home but it's still plenty of time to his kick towards centre wing Greg Williams should be free kick and will kicking to a congested forward zone Abler one grab couldn't complete the mark the high kick by Carey is marked by Wood. He plays on straight away. Gets it up towards the half forward line. Over the head of Donnell. Over the head of Bolton. Malaki is out in front of Danaher. But Danaher persists. Malaki hooks it over his shoulders at Bruns. Bruns at half back. In towards the centre. Shane Williams, the target. Finds him. Plays on now. Started the game as if there was no tomorrows. Faded a bit in the second term but has come back strongly. Thompson. The opportunity for Esmond. Across to Weston. Weston's handball, a little loose, but he was under pressure. Van de Haar is beautifully tackled. Geelong fans are not at all happy as Thompson picks it up. Kicks up towards Danahar, who takes the mark. Terry Danahar looking to go in towards full forward. Oh, Watson's there on his own. He'll run into open goal, and good night, Cats, as Timmy Watson runs right in this final term at Cadinia Park. It's all over now. The Bombers are home, 10-13 to 8-11 on 7's big lead. You're watching...